Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I want to talk today about the concept of one ball practice. I know it sounds a little bit zen, it's not meant to be, and I don't literally mean that when you practice you should only use one ball. Think about the reason that you're practicing in the first place. It's to be able to take the work that you're doing on the range, in the short game area, or on the practice putting green, onto the golf course. And making that transition from the practice area to the golf course is not that simple often because in practice you have as many balls in front of you as, as you have and it's, it's going to be multiple. You hit a poor shot, you can hit another one. You get a bit of a run on and all of a sudden you feel like you've, you've found the answer. You've really just found your rhythm or you've found your timing and then it disappears again. And then you leave the practice area at the end of hitting your bucket of balls and you're generally rating how you've practiced according to the last few shots. If the last few shots are great, you think that was a fantastic session. If the last few shots weren't that good, then what a waste of time that was. We need to change your thinking a little bit, particularly around getting the transfer to the golf course. Remember on the golf course, you only do have one ball. So each shot has a higher level of importance than what it does when you're practicing. And there's really no way to replicate that, but the best we can do is to try as much as we can in our practice to do the types of things that we're going to do on the golf course. So first of all, this concept of one ball practice means that let's say you literally did have just one golf ball to practice with. Think of the attention that you'd apply to that. If you have a, a, something that you're thinking on, you're working on in your golf swing, you'd practice it. You'd perhaps look to use your shadow, use a reflection, maybe even use your phone, and try and get some sort of feedback on whether you're making that movement correctly or not. Then you get this sense of, yeah, I'm satisfied with the quality of that movement, so what I'm gonna do now is I'll have a couple more practice swings, then I think I'm ready to play my shot. That's a totally different approach to what most players would take. There are lots of ways of developing an improved um, attitude, an improved mindset, an improved uh, approach to your practice. But the idea of one ball is really important. So in a practical coaching se uh, training session, you would start off and say, this very first shot is not a loosener. It's not a warm up shot. It's my first practice shot where I actually have an intention to hit a good shot, an intention to make as good a golf swing as I can. Yeah, it might only be a short shot because that's the way that you would generally start your practice session. So if you're starting with a pitch shot to a, a short target, make it as if it's the first shot that you've got on the golf course. You're applying your attention to that, whether that's to hitting the target, whether it's to having your attention on what you're actually doing, creating a motion to do that, whether it's developing target engagement, we've talked about that in other videos, but you definitely have an intention for doing that. Now let's say you do that 50 times in a practice session, if you've got 50 balls. Then the quality of that training session has gone up massively. Now maybe in that instance, with those 50 balls on that particular day, you don't feel that you hit the ball as well as what you did the previous day. That's missing the point of developing this idea, this mindset around good practice. Because it's what you habitually do. If you practice like that all the time, you will definitely see the transfer to the golf course. When you get to the golf course, you'll actually feel much more comfortable, even if it's a competitive round, or even if during that round, you have um, something going on, whether it's a match against friends or a club competition or a tournament, you'll actually begin to feel more comfortable because you're putting yourself closer to those situations in your practice. So make sure that when you're practicing, whatever your overall intention is for your training session, do it with the mindset of having one ball practice and you will see the results on the golf course, if not immediately, then certainly within a short space of time.